And it for it then. Uh, welcome back to Forest Green. How's the return come about? Um, thanks. Um, not a lot. Well, to be fair, the, the manager Mark, Mark rang me the other day and said to fancy coming in for a few days training. So um, I was in on Tuesday um, and then trained yesterday and managed to sort out a deal. So now I'm just in time for Saturday. And how has that sort of um, progressed in terms of the training? The training's obviously gone pretty well if you've, you've got yourself a, a deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The training's gone okay. I think, obviously, Mark knows how I play and Mark knows what I'm all about. So it's just a case of um, seeing if I was fit, uh, fit enough to come in and come in and do a job, which, but thankfully, he's, uh, he's, he still thinks I'm fit, so it's all good. And do you feel ready if you're required? Yeah, 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 I feel ready, yeah. This obviously been a long time, well, it's a long time since I've started a game, but um, the first and foremost, I'm looking forward to just to getting in, um, getting in amongst the lads and, and feeling fit again and... Uh, hopefully, like more game time and more fit I'll get. Twenty nine games for Motherwell last season. Um, what have you been doing since up until this week? Um, so, yeah, so I've I've been training. I live in Exeter, so I've been training with Exeter. Um, so kindly, Matty Taylor um, offered me the chance to come in and train for for a few weeks. So I've I've been in there um, for four weeks and been training hard. To be honest, it's been like a mini pre season for myself. So, so yeah, like I feel I feel okay. It's just. Um, I just want to get involved back into game situations now. And the deal that you've got, is it a short-term one and sort of impress and try and earn a longer-term deal? Is that the idea? Yes, yeah, it suits all parties. Um, I, I was after a short-term deal. I, I don't. I want to come in and obviously come in and do well. And obviously Mark was, and Richard were the same in, in terms of offering me a short-term deal. It suits all parties. Obviously I'm, I'm more local now. I'm from Exeter. So it, so it just suits, suits everyone involved really, being short-term and... Obviously, all, all things being well, hopefully it can be a, lo a longer-term thing. Plenty's changed here since you left in, what, January 2017, I guess. The manager, the chairman and the physios. About all that's left, isn't it, really? Maybe yeah. the football secretary. Yeah, that's all left, yeah. All team means are still here. Um, yeah, that, that, that has a, nothing. So, obviously, I, I, I drove up today and, obviously, like, nothing's changed. And, obviously, good memories coming back as soon as I stepped in the door. Um, obviously, I, I feel comfortable here. I, I know what I'm doing and... Obviously, out on the pitch there as well. I know, I know my space and stuff like that. So, the, so in terms of that, it's a box ticked off that I don't really have to worry about. So, it's good. And you obviously left halfway through the promotion season. So, in a way, is there a little bit of unfinished business here for you? Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I'll, I'll, when I went up to Scotland, it was um, it was a great opportunity for myself and my family, and I'm, I was really proud of what I achieved up there and what I went up there to do. I, I definitely achieved and more really. Um, it was just a case as a family now. I've got a little one now and. My wife and I decided for us as a family that we wanted to be down south and that was a decision really in the summer that we took. Um, hope, like, obviously buzzing now that this has come up, being closer to home. Um, and yeah, like I said, obviously, obviously delighted for the club being promoted and obviously a few things have changed at the training ground I went to the other day. It's, it was superb there really from, from what we did have. So all, all things have just stepped up a little notch <coughs> since, I've been, since, since I left in January. And you're... 29 now so that makes you an experienced player uh, does that make it a little bit easier coming back in and I suppose switching back to old ways if you like yeah yeah uh, again coming back in Tuesday and uh, Mark said it was a young group and you weren't joking when I went in the first day it was it was uh, a lot of young lads but it's good a lot of hung, young fit hungry lads and obviously wanted to do well for the football club and it's re really quite refreshing for, for me as obviously I'm, I'm experienced now I'm 29 so still not that old but <laughs> don't feel old so but it was yeah like I said it was good refreshing to come in and, and <coughs> see all those young lads really training hard and obviously they are, I always keep an eye on results and they've done fantastically over the last three three or four months. And the way that Mark's got them playing and wants them to play has that evolved at all or is it still the same Mark Cooper trademarks? Yeah 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 look, Mark, Mark plays the right way yeah that's that's how it is and that's how the game should be played and um, coming in and training in the last two days there was there were similar things from when I was here before when he come in and he was trying to implement and and yeah this it's, it's an enjoyable way to play I think all the lads are enjoying it and I, I know for a fact that every footballer wants to play that way thank you good luck Cheers, thank you Elliot was Forest Green sort of always on your bucket list to come back to yeah of course uh, I love the club. There's no, there's no secret about that. I done an interview the other day, Josh, and that was, 
it's no secret for me that I, I really wanted to come back and, and help the team. So, yeah, it, it was, to be honest, a, a thing that I wanted to come back and do. Yeah. You left on a high in the, in the January final game, mm. scored and an assist. So you want to obviously come back and hit the ground running again. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So, but first and foremost, I want to get back up to speed with the lads. I haven't, I haven't played for a little bit, so it's just a case of having a good couple of weeks training and, and a few minutes here and there, whatever whatever the manager wants me to do, and, and hopefully I can get up to speed quick. Yeah. How tough was that being without a club when, when you left Motherwell? Yeah it, yeah, it was. It was a bit of a, a bit of a weird sort of, Weird sort of time for myself and, and my family. It was um, mother offered me a quite a good contract up there, but for family reasons and stuff like that, I wanted to be I wanted to be back down in the southwest sort of area, and um, and I just wanted a different opportunity. Really, I was up there for obviously a good three years and achieved quite quite good things up there and played in some big games. So again, I just felt, felt like I ticked off that and just wanted to come and come back down and. Well what would have been your highlights at Motherwell? Obviously, there's your, your Rangers and your Celtics. Must have been incredible. Yeah, yeah, incredible. <coughs> that, that was that was my reasoning for going up there to play in those sort of games. And we we got to two domestic cup finals, which was for a team like Motherwell was a fantastic achievement. Really. Um, obviously, we lost at both of the games against Celtic, but in terms of experience and build up, I'll never ever get that um, never get that experience again. So, so yeah, like really pleased of how it went up there and. And just wanted to come down and try something different back down here. And how would you compare the Scottish Premiership to the leagues in this level? What level would you say it would be? Um, yeah, it's, it's it's completely different. I mean, like obviously you play the the top so it ranges Hibs, Saladin, Hearts. They're all like top top sides, and obviously the bottom six sides like Motherwell and, and Hamilton and stuff like that. They're they're around the same level, so it's it's hard it's hard to say what kind of level it is. But um, I was surprised when I went up there how good it was. Uh, Sure, George, you would say the same. It's, it's high pressure up there. It's, it's full on. Um, so yeah, like it was it's a, a great experience, and it's just different. It's it's a, it's a good standard. Yeah, yeah, it's better than what I thought. Yeah, I know you had an op op option in the summer to remain in Scotland and yeah. go to Dundee, but yeah. obviously, like you said, for family reasons, you yeah, exactly. Want to yeah. come back here? Yeah, I'd, I'd obviously I'd, I'd done okay up in Scotland, so I had a, I had a few clubs up there that, that wanted to sign me and. Uh, me and my wife and I, we, we explored those options and um, just, didn't, just didn't feel right at the time. Um, so I was delighted to, delighted to be back here. Yeah, and I believe also you, you almost signed for Oxford, didn't you, in the, at the end of the summer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, had, a, I had a good week there with, with, uh, with Oxford and, and obviously Carl Robinson, the manager, and a few other boys are down there as well. So I had a, I had a good week there. Um, things just didn't work out, you know, it's like in football, it's just... It was just one of them where it just didn't really materialise, but but I enjoyed it, and again, actually, I'm delighted to be back. Yeah. Would it be safe to say this is a, a dream move to come back to Forest Green? Yeah, 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 it is. Yeah, I've, there's, there's no hiding that this is the most I've enjoyed football, like on and off the pitch. To be honest, is here at Forest Green. Obviously, my family love coming up here and coming here and watch the games. Obviously, my dad and my mum can come watch me. More often now, where it's obviously I was up in Scotland, we have to be on Sky to for them to watch, really, or they have to fly up. So they'll be delighted that obviously I told my dad earlier, and he was he was absolutely buzzing. So so yeah, look, it, it's no secret really. I've really enjoyed it, really enjoyed my time here, and hopefully I can enjoy it again. And it's nice to know you you always had a great bond with the fans. It was always a, a big cheer when your name was mentioned. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a big that's a big plus point for me, and hopefully I can I can repay him again. And, and show them how much I've improved since I've been up in Scotland. Cheers, Els. Cheers, Els. Cheers. <laughs>